Hi, Ryan. This is Grandma Pearson in California. I'm sitting here riding my little bike, and it won't go anywhere. It just stays in the same spot. So I was reading a book the other day, and there was a grandma that had a scooter. I think I'm going to go buy me a scooter. I, would you like me to read you the book about the grandma? See, she's got glasses like Grandma Pearson, and she likes her scooter, and she can go down the street, and I can't go anywhere. Mine won't go any farther. Okay, now we're going to turn the page, and you're going to read along with me. Grandma Ruth had a new scooter with bright orange wheels. It couldn't be cuter. Being careful not to fall or flip, she wheeled out on her very first trip. Off she dashed to the house on the street where she and her grandchildren were to meet. Jumping on scooters side by side, they said, come on, Grandma, let's ride. As Ruth and her grandchildren started out, they met a young friend who said with a pout, I wish my grandma could play with me. She's so far away as can be. I know you're sad that she lives so far away, your grandma. So let me be your grandma today. Come join us in our ride to the zoo. We're going to go see the new kangaroo. Let's wait for the light to change, my dear. See this busy grandpa here? He goes to work almost every day. While, those, while these grandparents do nothing but play, the grandparents from far off land can teach you something really grand. This boy is learning from his grandpa how to do a karate chop. Right there, see, he's learning. And when grandparents are sick or very, very old, your visit with them is more precious than gold. Some grandparents bake cookies from scratch. Grandma Pearson does that for you, Ryan. And give their grandkids the entire batch. Yum, he's saying. Ruth and her crew arrived at the zoo. Baby kangaroos in the zoos are very rare. And lots of people had come to stare. As Grandma Ruth and the kids came near, a baby kangaroo's head began to appear. A sign announced that her name was Kelly. She looked so cute in the pouch on Mom's belly. Suddenly, Kelly hopped right out. Everyone watched and began to shout, Isn't she cute? Isn't she dear? Hey, little Kelly, come over here. Boing, 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 hopped Kelly kangaroo. It looked like she would spring right out of the zoo. I'll go left and you three go right. Don't let Kelly out of your sight, said Grandma. Finally, Kelly began to lag, so Ruth and the kids held out a bag. Kelly hopped in and they all said, phew, and brought her to Mama kangaroo. She had gotten lost. Come on, kids, it's time to go. I bet everyone will want to know what we did on this pretty day. Let's get on our scooters and roll away. Goodbye, my dear. We had such fun. Call your grandparents when the day is done. Say you love them and tell them what's new. I know they'll say, we love you, too. And we love you, Ryan, from Grandma and Papa, no, Pearson.